okay yes, everybody so right now we come back again today i show you how to edit the data into the database so right now we go into the laravel bridge yes right now copy here so i create the input touch okay right now i create the women there form in this Yes, we use if condition. Yeah, we when we click the edit button and show the uh, input type touch here and the error condition we show here. Okay. Okay, right now I copy here. Yes, I pass here. So I copy the email here. Okay, so in the form it did, you read name here. And dot emails. So I copy here. Email. Okay, so right now I go to the scripts. It is. It did. We use the file or tools. Okay, right now I files. And we did form name. Okay, name refer to the edit form here dot name. I right now use image. Okay, so right now I create the message here. Did custom did form dot name equal to custom dot name this dot case it did form yes. Yes, right now I did choose. Cancel this. Form the grid as all of these. And I go to the grid at the button here. Okay, right now I use it did. Yes, it did custom merge. Yeah, it did a customer refer to the function that I create here.
edits test in the edit we just edits okay right now I copy here yes. cancel okay run I agree add a function cancel here copy here yes. and I go to the custom here yes run I change the this the class okay right now I see when I run again okay you can see the edit button okay right now you can see the chain here but the value not bind into the email so we go to the email again Okay, so right now uh, so again. Okay, right now we buy here. Okay, right now we go to the code customer again. And right I want to just update this, the data so you can. Okay, right now in the update. Yes. When I sell, yes, yes. When I write already and go to the customer company again, when I create the ideas of this, of that cost of, okay. Right now in the function I want to all custom new custom no, okay dot a t t p dot patch slash Custom, okay. O custom dot ID new customer Homage. Don't data. Okay, right now I did copy here and I go to the customer. Here, so I want to create the button like this. We unclish up that custom.
edit form test Okay, run our sales and run again. So you can see the update become here for example. Yes, right now I don't want to show the update when I click edit. Yes, I okay. Right now we go to the we add code here. It did. Okay, right now still and run again. So you can the button update there is no display. Okay, when I click the edit and display the update button. Okay, right now I go to the customer here. Customer dot I want to add code here. Just use on updates okay it's be used on update custom yeah right now that I want to add a fetch function here okay run our sales and run again so when I click here, yes, I update. Oh, why should be code? Okay, so update successfully, but the reason there is there is this display here. Okay, for I refresh, and you can see the update. So right now I go to the custom again. Okay, right now I copy here and display course. Okay, right now I see again. Okay, right now I update. So you can see the update value. Okay, right now when I uh, add update and don't display delete here also okay so you can go to the edit we use edit okay okay right now it saves and run again oh okay then you reduce like this okay run I see again and you can see the edit okay I did it here so I want to test Okay, right now I want to just finish this lesson and the next time I show you how to select such to update in the uh, row table. Okay, so you don't forget follow me. Right now I just finish this lesson how to update the data in, re in the database using the Vue.js. Okay, right now I say goodbye.